Okay, guys, sorry about that interruption commentary. Right now, we're going to be seeing Stretch versus the boss now. Stretch, all, like, who did he beat to get to here? Oh, he beat HD Knights. Yes, he beat the Lucas player of the Knights. Just skip through to quarters, I believe. Yes. Mm. Still pulls. Yep. Still going. Still going at it. Matchup, I don't really see much. Yeah, I don't you see definitely Rosalina. don't see Rosalina as a character much at all. And I actually think not only is this like really good for Lucina, mm -hmm. just because like having a sword, having a destroyer is just really great, like pushing off uh, Luma, but also you can contest with a lot of Rosalina's disjoints, which are notoriously problematic for a lot of other characters. But also, I feel like on a stage ba like Battlefield, Ooh, oh my god. Nice, solid work with this. See, now. For this matchup, I want to see uh, Stretch like put himself in the right position, right next to Rosalina. Pretty good. And, like right at a good spot, just to swing at Luma, get her out of the way, and then like just like punish Rosa for doing anything. Yeah, this is what you do. Like focus on Luma first, because that's how you don't want to get cheesed and die. Mm -hmm. And swing on light, light Rosalina. She's light. <laughs> And it, you have to really be careful about overextending in the air against Rosalina because she doesn't have that many great ways of killing, but up smash is definitely going to be one of them. Her up smash is outrageously fast, and it is potent, especially if Luma is on deck. True, true. Very good move that probably covers like <laughs> all the way like behind her too. And also has a good nair this time. And she used to have like Rob nair, and that just like looks weird, but... <laughs> It you know, worked out for her. But this like there like leads to like a lot of good follow-ups. Mm -hmm. So you see the buzz doing it a lot. Building up his little wall. Doing his sick Luma cancels. Yeah. And honestly, like landing against Rosalina on this kind of a stage might be really difficult. But what I just realized might be a great option is if you're going with down air, Rosalina is such a big target that maybe some of the like the later hits of down air as it like starts to arc back can like snag her under the platforms. True, true. That neutral B coming out the <laughs> I'm so surprised that I can't I think that was the four leader. I'm so surprised that the four leader didn't connect it at all. And just like stretch was able to you know like get just outside of the range of the hitbox. That's oh, dangerous. <laughs> oh my god. Just waiting. Yeah, trying to outbox Luma here, trying to get her out of there. And, and honestly, there it goes. <laughs> that Luma placement was so good. I love the way that the Buzz charged up smash there because he was just waiting for Stretch to jump on. Because normally, the last thing you want against Rosalina and Luma is to be caught at ledge. So he would punish the alternative with the Whoa, up smash. Whoa, that kill? Wow. Okay, all right, we'll take those. That's a very strong hit because it came from both characters. Huh. But and the neutral are almost taking out Rosalina. She is so, so light. She'll yeah. dive really into those things. Unfortunately, Stretch lost his rage, so he can't get the stock as fast, but he can throw kill and the techs. Always Fun count junior. on the top player to tech really well. <laughs> yes, sir. And that neutral is going to take it out this time. No longer really that stale and 183%. Anything can kill Rosalina. Um, well, okay, I love the way that the Buzz is holding center stage right now. Yes. He is just pushing out Stretch and forcing him. Any maneuver that Stretch would do would be an overextension. But he is able to find his way back onto the stage with a roll. Really, really aggressive and able to like finally get something started with an up tilt. That's the thing about playing Rosa for so many years. Like you know how to like Yeah, it's Ooh. like it's like seeing something in the, in the matrix of the game where it's just like you know your gaps and so how to get away from yep. certain things. Because you have, you have to learn that. Because Luma is like your bread and butter. You need to have Luma in order to play efficiently with the character. Without it. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, because you swing and you die. <laughs> and like for the last 30 seconds, Stretch is just unable to find a single opening. Um, he needs to watch out for those neutral bees. I really like his usage there because there he just like sort of forced the Buzz to go and play back a little bit. But I wouldn't be surprised if the Buzz has like another punish in store for the next oh, time. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, Ooh. unfortunately, that's a back on. Oh wait, wait. Wow. Stretch was playing such a risky game then because he was putting himself. Oh, no. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Ha. Huh. Dangerous, dangerous. That's how you died last stock? Oh my god, his spacing was perfect. The timing on that jump, as soon as he initiated it, he was like two or three pixels away from got dying. Him. Yeah. That was a haha, -ha, good games got a moment. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> GG's. <laughs> GG's, shake my hand. That was game one.
and putting Luma right there, just, that kills though. That's crazy. Yep. So, I don't think they used to kill in four. Like you just put Luma on the ledge and you just like hit jab. Uh, I am a fetus, so my knowledge of Smash Four is gone to time. Uh, yeah, um, that's true. <laughs> that's yeah, true. That's fine. Uh, especially things like multi jab from Luma. But what I can say is right now that multi jabs are just such. If your character has a multi jab as a kill, that's like <laughs> just so good. In your kit, because jabs are non-committal. If he sees that stretch is like going above the ledge, he can like easily just like stop committing to the jab and then and then like go, go through something else. So. The buzz's spacing on that was also really good as well because what was Stretch supposed to do there? He couldn't roll because he would have rolled right into Rosalina's jab. Oh, smash too. Mm -hmm. But I actually think if Rosalina's doing the multi jab, I'm not. I know Luma's. He probably kill. wouldn't have died from like Rosalina's multi jab. Yeah. It's Luma's like big meaty hands that can take your life away, like it did. Second stock where he died to the down air almost randomly. Like I didn't think he would die from it. Yeah. But like I realized, like he got hit by both Luma and Rosalina there. So. Yep. But going into game two, they're going to be sticking with Battlefield. I still think this is a really, really good stage choice for the stretch uh, because, like you just saw, the Buzz like struggling to land. But just as much the Buzz struggles to land, you see Stretch unable to find any of his own footing. It's good that that ends now because like they used to be like forever on your shield. But yeah. Uh, the bus taking early momentum here. He, he found oh the, my God. like a gap. Oh, he's, that's death right there. He's in a situation Not to quite. die. Now yeah. It is. Yep. Um. Yeah. From round start, like the buzz, like caught on to what stretch was going to do, and just started swinging on him. Like, all right, I'm gonna get all my follow-ups, and now you're gonna try to recover and get back to me. So I'm just take this lead from you, which is important. Like at the start of the game, you know. Like, you don't want to be the one that's like down first. Yeah. Because that's how you lose your sock first and things just go bad. Snowball. Essentially. So now Stretch is in a situation where he has to take really quick stocks from Rosalind. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> keeping him out there. That's cute. Because like, honestly, if the buzz wants to, as Rosalina, he has the ability to time out Stretch with a stock lead. Like, if he really wanted to, he could do it. Um, and so like, that just like adds to the importance of, okay, I have to take the stock right now. Stretch really smart not to overcommit. He's just like waiting oh, for him. And you see, that's why he has to be careful about overcommitting because Damn. one missed edge guard attempt it means a whole entire stock lost. So the buzz by dipping so low, uh. he is baiting Stretch to go off there. He's like saying, I want you to come down with me. Nice spike. Really nice spike. Legendary spike. From a legendary character. Okay. Uh. Getting hit by all of this. You took 20 for that jab. Could have been worse. I think the boss could have held it a little bit longer. Stretch might have been SDIing. But right now Luma is out of play on the other side, but back to worrying about it. Ooh, doing up tilt right there, trying to catch something, but Like Lucina just struggles so much to get in under like a platform. Like if Rosalina's like, standing under the platform on battlefield, like what reasonable approach option does Stretch have? It's just honestly about taking control first here in this situation because Stretch has so much work to you know do. Like he has to focus on like trying to get the stock as fast as he can, while at the same time yeah. killing Luma because Luma is you know blocking him. Ah, uh, he was trying to go for Luma there, but oh, missed space in the back end. It's very important. Now Stretch, he's maybe going for the two frame. Yep, he was trying to go for the two frame down and try to he catch the shield again. He didn't want to commit at all because he knows if I go off stage right now and I get sent off, that's it. That's the game. That's the set. So he's just standing there. Yeah, he's always going to take that. But here's the thing. With the way that the buzz is teching that too, the buzz is actually gaining a favorable position when he gets back onto stage. Which he is the one that gains all of the stage control despite the fact that he got hit by the upbeat. So we should think if you should go for it and all that stuff. Stop. Yes, swing on Luma. Get out of this. Fight your way out. <laughs> Wow, because Luma was behind the buzz. Ah! <laughs> From downtown. <laughs> landing okay. like 70% charged neutral. Oh, uh, up smash on the ship. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> that up Damn. smash is when you have Luma in front of you, absolutely massive. Stretch put up a good enough fight, but the buzz just like put the pieces together. He solved them right there and just took advantage. Yes, sir. But. 
Scratch, I feel like he did a fantastic job of holding his own on that set because, of course, it is the buzz. I will take off these sunglasses because they... Oh, they actually, never you. mind. I am <laughs> going to put these things back on. Um, 